very well made and it looks like it hasn't really been worn really I found something in the pocket though. I like finding stuff in my thirsty pockets. It was like a ticket from 1996 <laughs> at some type of convention. I was like, I bet they was fly in 96. Like, hey, what's up, y'all? Let me put this in my pocket. And then they forgot to take it out and took it to the thrift store. And then here's another favorite. As I said, I like gold. I like black and gold together. So that's why you see a lot of black and gold. But I got this from Shireen's Vintage Closet. Let me shout her out because um, I work for her. She's a woman, an amazing woman who owns a vintage store in Atlanta, where I'm from. And yeah, check her out. She's on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Shireen's Closet. And I bought a lot of stuff from her this summer too because I was working there of course so I saw everything that came in and of course that was bad because I was like oh I gotta have that too. So I had to get this stuff. Word for homecoming. My college homecoming. But it's a freaking sweater. It's black and gold. And then business in the front. Party in the back. The back is completely backless. It goes into a V. And then it has the tassel on the end. And it's so cute. It has, oops. It has the tassel on the front too. And I wear this with like some high waisted like greenish plaid pants. Yeah. That's what's up. Shireen's closet. Okay. But, um, yeah. Next piece, I wear this a lot. I bought it in the summer. And this is one of those things that for the first time I actually bought something, I wore it, like, probably like a week later. And I wear it, like, at least, I don't know, wear it at least two times a month. Because I just, I don't know, even though I have, like, a lot of thrifted clothes, I have my, my favorites like that. I don't care. I wear them all the time. And I like, take pictures in them like a hundred times. But yeah, it's I got it from Sharan's Closet too. It's this full lace skirt vintage. Let's go back. You can see it. Okay. Can you see me? And it's completely sheer. So it can be very sexy. Like I've worn, I've worn it in the summer and the winter. So in the summer I just wear like some little spandex shorts. So it's like just my shorts and my legs. And then in the winter I wear it with like um, stockings. Like very thick stockings. So you can still see through it but it just, it's just black. You know what I'm saying? So. But it's very pretty. I, I love this skirt. And it, I'm tall, like I said. So it's one of those pieces where I can um, high waist it. And still it comes all the way down to my ankles. So, yeah. That's good. It's it's very pretty, pretty skirt. Very well made. Okay. Sorry I keep on coming over here. I'm like, it's too quiet. I feel awkward. So, I had to turn on some music. Alright. Next piece, I wore this on a cruise. Because that was the only place where I was like, okay. Now I can turn up and dress. Like, like I'm going to a freaking ball. Like, because I buy a lot of stuff where it's, it's freaking too fancy to just wear to dinner you know what i'm saying you have to wait for somewhere to wear it because it i mean i don't mind being overdressed like i usually am but it's kind of like too like too overdressed like just honey i know you're excited about you got that but just wait till it's appropriate so it's this fully um sequent black and gold dress of course i love the gold it's so pretty and it looks like it hasn't been worn i like a lot of sequin pieces have a lot of damage if you know this if you go to thrift stores you'll pick it up and be like oh my god and then you'll be like oh my god because <laughs> they have like a lot of um 
fading on them, the sequins would be missing, all that stuff. So you have to be careful when you're buying sequins items. But I like this one because it has like absolutely no flaws on it. And I looked up the um the designer and they their pieces are very expensive. So I knew the person who got this took a lot of care to it. But it has the little um cutout in the front. And then in the back it has the oval back cut out. I thought it was very pretty. It's very form fitting too. So if you wanna emphasize your shape and still wear vintage clothing, like it's a perfect fit. And you can always sew it to your size if you're um if you sew, I sew as well. And I got this dress along with that blue skirt. I was just finding everything that day. But um yeah. This dress is actually fully sequined too. It has a little fading on the the shoulders, but not enough to be noticeable. I'm just very picky, but I got it anyway. But it's this blue sequin, well multi sequin dress, and I liked it because it it was funny because usually when you find sequin dresses, they have the traditional style like the black and gold. But this one kind of had like an 80s vibe to it because of the colorful like lightning bolts all the way down. And it's very cute. It's very formy to me. I like it because it's long sleeves and the sleeves are sheer. So there's that one. And alright, I'm almost done y'all. Almost done. Okay. I got this blazer red blazer it's fire i like it because it has gold in it of course i like the buttons and i like the bottom because it's freaking like these little cutout things like and i could just picture it i still haven't worn it yet. i bought it in the summer but i can just picture it with like a little pencil skirt and just oh rocking it with something one day and it's um, double breasted so when you button it it kind of looks like a tuxedo coat or whatever those things are called that men wear and this one I thought it was really cute it's like a turquoise um, blazer I like the buttons it's short and it has a good fit to it and it has the little cut out on the back <laughs> all right what's the time on this but um all right then we have this dress it was so funny when i found this because i was like this is like traditional vintage style as you can see it has the little ruffle in the front the little typical shoulders that you're used to the peplum and the long skirt but i was like why oh, is this freaking cheetah print? <laughs> when do you ever see a um a dress, a vintage dress, in colored cheetah print? And it was weird to me. So I was like, let me get this because you never see this pattern on vintage dresses. And it's actual um identic vintage. I think the designer was just like, you know what? Let me just do some pink cheetah print. I think that was so cool though because usually with vintage prints you see floral, striped, stuff like that. But you don't ever see um, cheetah print on a dress like that. So that was um, very surprising. <sighs> on, I love this dress. It's kind of like a coat dress. I got it like... Hmm like a year and a half ago I wore a New Year's Day last year and it's actually an orange and blue trench coat dress with a little handkerchief and it's so freaking form fitting and you look like a freaking like I don't know you just look like those glamorous women like in the 80s who were just like going off to work with their handkerchiefs and their little bright colored blazers and dresses and all that stuff and it has the little gold and peach buttons so I thought that's cute <sighs> and I love this blazer because of the colors I love pink green and gold 
and the lighting is probably going to blur it out.